if you were a newcomer to my town, uh, you would think it was the end of the world. I have uh, once a year in this town we have the emergency response day when all the emergency responders from neighboring towns and cities and even a bunch from the states come up and they do this big thing at the arena. But the first thing they do is this big parade around town without, uh, with little warning at all. So you think uh, it's the end of the world. Well, it's, it's kind of funny, but anyway, uh, two years ago I had uh, two of my kids were represented. One for the uh, Army Cadets. Uh, she's the captain and my boy who is a police for a uh, city over from us, so that's pretty cool So I brought my camera around this week a little bit took a couple clips here and there and uh, Let's just start out with uh, young Willow's birthday Open it Hi What is it? What? Oh, they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. They're going to be my best friends. Is that what you wanted? Less than one week. Listen. They're talking to each other. One week, they've probably doubled in size already. They're hilarious. Old Finn's taking a shine to him too. Took some fun pictures with him. But you're going to see a... Uh, going to have to build an outside duck pen. Before they get uh, all feathered out. So we can put them outside where they belong. Just came down for some... Uh, evening sucker fishing just for fun me and my brother hey. CL outside and uh, yeah it's a beautiful day one of the first ones of the year so we're using it My turn then. I got something. Oh. There's a little sucker. There's one. There's a little spring sucker. You know, if, uh, if for nothing else, it's just nice just to get out and sit beside the river and enjoy an evening. Calling for a thunderstorm maybe later on. So, perfect, perfect time to get out. When we came in here, we spooked a couple deer just here on the other side of the river. So, yeah, it's a good day. We're gonna run down here, see what Corel's got. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. Fall in. Fall in. Just about made it. Fall in. <laughs> All right. I see. Okay. That was close. I probably lost the fish now. You probably lost your rod by now. Mm. Just got a uh, text from my brother. He's got a baby. Baby reindeer. So I'm going to pop over there and have a look. Let's just take a break from fishing and go look at this little guy. Well, Kareen, you're on video. Let's go see the baby. Okay, here's a little guy. 24 hours old. What a cutie. So soft. Wow. Mom is okay. All right. Back to fishing. And just like that, there's another one. Oh, a little tiny mouth on the guy. It's a little guy. Yeah, very tiny. Just a teeny tiny little mouth. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get the needle nose. So. Just let this guy go. I'm sliding in the clay. Shoot. Dang it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Woo. Just about. This is like clay. That wet clay is slippery as snot. I just feel my feet just starting to go. <laughs> Listen to those birds. There's a lot of uh, red-winged blackbirds that were playing around down here and making our fuss. Yeah, it's a good night. So I got this. Uh, I always had the Firebox Nano, and if you remember from my twig stove video, one of my complaints was the holes were too big on the bottom, and it let uh, ash fall down. So old Mr. Firebox came up with this genius idea to make a new carrying case for the stove, and this little uh, tin that folds flat has this little X pattern in that the legs, the legs can go in. Here, I'll show you in one second. See this? That's the case. Folds out flat. The legs go in these little grooves here. And uh, it protects the ground. Super clever. And uh, if it was windy out, I got this uh, carbon felt with these little uh, stakes here that you can block off the wind. He's a clever man, that firebox man. So, Gonna get a fire going and get a coffee. Yes? Yes. yes. What you got? A sucker. I've got the whole firebox a blazing. Okay. Is that boiling? 
Tom's over there talking to his fish. Uh, I told my wife I got kidnapped. She wasn't home when I, when I left. They were just wondering where I was. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so my story quickly was uh, everybody thinks I'm a Fruit Loop, but I just came over here and this is what my brother was just doing while I was on the other side. It'll start. Hi, my name's Doug Outside. <laughs> yep, we're growing up. So. Yeah, all growing up. Okay. That's a boil. Didn't take long at all. So I'm cheating tonight with my Nest Cafe 3 in 1. What are you doing? But anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee. This is supposed to be a vlog, not a trip report, so it's getting long. So I'm going to drink my coffee, enjoy the rest of the night, and uh, carry on. Finishing up this uh, this cutting board, got a real nice grain in it. I put uh, about five coats of walnut oil on it, and when I give these away, I always give a little bottle of uh, oil or down the road that they can keep it fresh. But check this out. This was the piece of cherry that it came out of, and this thing came out of some guy's barn. It was just dry as a fart. But look at these. These shavings are hilarious. They're just cr are crunchy. That was the hardest thing that planer's ever done, I think. Put some feet on. I pick up these little uh, rubber guys at Bee Valley. There you go. Mother's Day present for my mommy. Feet on the bottom. And give her a piece of wood. <laughs> there you go. There's your vlog. I don't know if that's going to be a regular habit or not, but uh, it was kind of fun to mix it up a little bit and uh, take some little clips along the way. So that's it for now, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for everything, guys. See ya. Well, <laughs> still here. Just going to say, I think that uh, this spot is so great. I think I'm going to come here and do an overnight in the very near future. And... Uh, if this vlog is later, maybe I've already done it, and you're watching this too late. But then it doesn't matter because you've already seen it. So it doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> oh boy. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, I do my intros and outros about seven times. Yeah. <laughs>